Hey everyone! In today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the Corona Distance Texture to create painted lines and road signs. We're going to start by opening the Slate Material Editor by pressing this icon or the M button, and then select the Road Shader. We're going to right-click anywhere in the Slate Material Editor and go to Maps, Corona, Corona Distance. After this, we're going to connect the Road Texture to the far color and the Corona Distance Map to the Road Material Diffuse color. If we run the interactive rendering, we're going to see a red warning. To fix this, double-click the Corona Distance Text Map to select it. The first section is the Node Input. Here, we're going to add the objects that will help us to paint or define the different colors. For road signs, I recommend using the splines with the Strut modifier, then lower the object in the Set axis so it's below the road object. We're also going to make these objects not renderable by right-clicking the object and select Object Properties. Then, in the Rendering Control, change it to By Object and Uncheck Renderable. With the object selected, click the plus button in the Distance Text Map to add it to the list. We can also click the Object Include button to open the Exclude Include list and add multiple objects at the same time. To remove objects, we just need to select them and press the minus button. After we have added at least one object, we can see that the warning in the rendering is not visible anymore. Then we're going to move to the second section, Output Transform. In this section, we can select the color and also change the size of the effect. We're going to change the color far distance to zero and check Color Inside. We can see that now the shape of the object is color, and if we modify the object, the paint color is going to follow the new shape. We can use any solid color, or even add a new texture. But I recommend using a Corona Color Correct Map to keep the same road texture and have a paint effect. Right-click the Slate Material Editor and select Maps, Corona, Corona Color Correct. Then, we're going to connect the road texture to the input and the Corona Color Correct to the inside color. We're going to use the brightness and gamma settings to change the color to white. If we want a different color, we can also use the tint color option to change the color of the assigned texture. This is a simple shader, but it has a lot of flexibility and can help us to add many details to our roads in a fast and easy way. We can use it for road signs like parking spots, accessible parking, crossing lines, or arrows. And as we're working with splines or editable polys, we can always change the shape, add new objects, copy them, or even change the color of the line with the Corona Distant Map options. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.